I represent an organization that has stood for something greater than the dictates of self. It has always stood for the interest of the nation, the people and especially the women and the girl child of Pakistan. APWA, All Pakistan Women's Association, was founded by Begum Rana Liaquat Ali Khan, the wife of our first Prime Minister. Leadership of Begum Rana Liaquat Ali Khan, who was, I'm not exaggerating, she was the most dynamic lady I have ever come across. And she was very glamorous, so I was very enthralled with her as a glamour person. She was very humane, she was very down to earth, and she had a great passion for literacy, for advancement of women, but in a very subdued, in a very, very gentle and profound way. When uh, the, the people were coming in from all parts of India to settle in Pakistan, Karachi was uh, literally uh, flooded with uh, refugees who, whose children, they, ha they had no place to go to. That's when we women from comfortable backgrounds came into the forefront like warriors. She organized the women, mostly the women who were in a key position in the country, the secretaries, wives, the ministers, wives, etc., who had the means of doing welfare work, and she taught the women how to work for others. APWA has a United Nation consultative status and is the first NGO that has pioneered and sustained the women's rights movement in education, health, training, crafts, employment and culture. Human rights and development issues of the women and children in Pakistan has been our foremost aim. APWA has a consultative status with the government of Pakistan, which meant that when the NGO was formed, it was decided that the government would consult with APWA on all issues concerning women. As time has gone on, the government has not been involved with APWA in giving grants or any aid Everyone can contribute in their own way. If people can spare the time and come and work in APWA, there could be nothing better. Once they have spent time in APWA, I guarantee you they will be so involved with what we do that they will not want to leave. Today, the world has awakened to the realization that Pakistan's problems can be solved if social development programs are addressed and encouraged. As the pioneer and most honoured social service organisation of Pakistan, we intend to play a leading role in the process of bringing sustainable development to the people of Pakistan. We have opened legal aid offices, uh, five legal aid offices throughout uh, Sindh, and we provide free legal aid of all kinds, including representation in court in Karachi, Hyderabad, Larkana, Sakhar, and Dadu. There are about uh, 12 advocates who are sitting waiting for calls to come. And when the call is received, the software is there. Though everything what is heard by our advocate and what is mentioned by him in response that is all recorded. Once the facts are taken, then he would inform, all right, uh, a senior advocate will be coming after some time. We will discuss this and then in a, um, a few hours or maximum next day, we will inform you. We receive calls about family disputes, we have uh, monetary disputes, a large number of cases relate to land and uh, disputes. And then there are criminal matters that uh, FIR has been lodged, no action is being taken, the person is uh, threatening us, what should we do? 
if somebody comes to the police, I have this problem, instead of registering an FIR, refer the matter to us so that we may deal with it. We are looking to build upon and enhance our already existing network of centers throughout Pakistan, addressing the various needs of underdeveloped communities while we are continuing our work in human rights, peacemaking and awareness building. We have not taken any funds and our operation is entirely run from funds available to our trust. We are now actively seeking funding for APWA new initiatives, which is seeking to modernize and restructure our already existing vast network of offices and centers in every province of this country. In our mission to make available to the people of Pakistan at a grassroots level, not only education, health and training, but also craft, art, culture and forums for peacemaking, conflict resolution and interfaith dialogue. We were taught to stand up for ourselves. And I would like to do the same for the next generation to come. Because the day a woman says, I can do it, she can do it. I would uh, tell the women, we have worked for ourselves enough. We have to work for the less fortunate. If you think just because we are successful in our life, that is the end, it's not. God has given us an opportunity to be successful so that we can go and help the others. There is no reason why this whole country should not be affluent because we've got all the wealth which we are concentrating in a few hands. Our tomorrow is to stand like a soldier, to safeguard, give new directions, new image to Pakistan and bring out the real Pakistan which Kaizya Azam dreamt. I hope, inshallah, that APWA goes back to the glory that Begum Liaqat had started it with and a woman from APWA will go forward to get the Human Rights Award like she did. I hope, inshallah, there will be another woman in APWA 20 years from now who will also go up to the United Nations to get a just reward. We hope to build upon our affiliations and work together with foreign donors, local government and social sector with the sole purpose of the betterment of the people and communities of Pakistan.